Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Nonso Amadi Thai beat. So Nonso Amadi is an, an, is an Afro soul singer. So um, he does mainly Afro beat souls. So the first thing you need to consider making Nonso Amadi Thai beat is the tempo. So since he made Afro beat singer, so eventually majority of, of the Afro beats ranges between 90, 100 and 120. But Nonso Amadi usually uses the tempo of 100. That is why the tempo here is 100. So and he has an uh, he does Afro pop, so Afro pop beat. So in this particular preview, I'm going to show you how I made this Nosso Amadi Thai beat. So let's go. So I'm going to preview first. You need to consider the drums. I have the drums here. Second, Afro snare. You can see how the snare is sounding. Then have a little hi hat. So the next one is percussion to support the the. Then the next one, and I have. Uh, uh, a keyboard so mostly the, in this this project I actually use um, stock plugins FS2 stock plugins so you can see. so soft piano you use soft piano for that project then the next one is that's the melody So that's another melody to support the first melody. Then finally, you now have the bass line. Then you have the cymbal, the, the rolling. So I have sample. Purchase your tracks today. That's the sample for the beat sales. If you want Purchase to buy the beat, your tracks today. you can consult, contact me for the beat. So the first thing you need to do in making this beat is first of all, lay down the drums. So remember to recap is the tempo. First of all, set the tempo to 100. As you can see, then the next thing is to go for the drums. So I'm going to preview to you the drum pattern that I use. So the drum pattern here is the kick. You see how the kick goes. The next one is the snare. The next one is the hi hat. As you can see, this bit is very simple. So you can just follow the same step, follow the same step so that you can replicate and do the same thing. So this is supporting percussion that I use. So the next one is the chord. Then after the chord, I use the melody to support the chord. Then I had another melody too. So this is like a background melody to help spice up the first melody and the chord. So the next one I have is the bass line. To so enable you have that R&B Afro feel, you know. So the next one I have is just um, the rolling. And that is. So I'm going to preview all these bits in the first sample for you. So first of all, I'm going to lay the kick. The kick. Supported by the snare. So I just have the already the drum section. You have the kick the snare so you must um you should be able to select afro instrument don't select instrument that you use that you usually use for um trap or that so select afro afro instrument are usually comprise usually comprises of african instruments wood you know the wood with the high hat the conga so those are afro instruments whenever you want to make any afro beats you simply make choices of 
African instruments like natural instruments like wood, conga, agogo, and all, that, and all that. So the choice of the instrument that I use here, if I preview them for you, like the kick, you have the the wooden snare, the high hat. You see, that's uh, the the conga there, the slight conga there. So then I'm not accompanied by the keyboard. So after laying down the drum, so let's preview the drum section again. So try to make your beats very simple. So by drums now, you can see how the drums are simple. It's not too crowded. You have just one snare. You have one snare. You have one kick. Then you have one hi-hat. So this will not enable you, your beats not to be crowded. So if your beat is too crowded, it's not going to be sweet. It will, it will be too tight that people cannot perceive the different melodies and the structure. So whenever you want to make beat, ensure that you look into the structural aspect of the beat and make it simple so that it will be easy to vibe on. So the next we're going to do after this, after this drum section, we're going to add the uh, chord. The chord. So I'm going to add the chord right now. So that's the chord, as you can see, it's very interesting. So we're going to add the bass line. So that's our bass line here. So these are basically some few instruments that I, I use. I use the piano. You can see it's a soft piano. This is a soft. This is a soft piano. So because it's an Afro soul to make you feel have that R&B feel, then you have a slight a piano tool to help harmonize. Then the second one is just a lush on the background to give it that depth. To give it depth of melody to help it to sound nice. They do not have the bass line to give you the body of the of the sound. So ensure that if you want to make Nosso Amadi type beat, ensure that the kind of the um, the kind of uh, song that he does, the gen of the song. So being able to detect the gen of the song will enable you to know the instruments that you're going to select, the how you're going to play it, and you have to play it to sound R and B ish, not like um, dance hall. So. Anything that has to do with R&B usually have a gentle feel to give you a gentle vibe. So remember, to recap this whole thing is if, to make some, no, so a Thai beat, you have to do what? Choose an R&B tempo. So R&B tempo usually, usually ranges between 90, 80, 90 to 100. But for this particular beat, the tempo is 100. So remember that the kick selection, your instrument selection is the kick. Your African snare, African snare hi-hat, a little touch of uh, percussion, I think this is an African percussion, they will not have the soft piano that will help you have that lead. So to give you that R&B and sweet feel, that relaxed feel. So you select an instrument that will make you give that feeling of relaxation, that's R&B feel, rhythm and blues. So accompanied by the melodies that make you feel. give it the baseline you give it the baseline to give it that soft that deep body so I added a little vocal what is that vocal that I added can see the little vocal that you just spice it yeah. guys after making the beat then this is the arrangement section of the beat so the first thing i need to do is the intro then i arrange the intro so the intro section is this i'm going to play the intro for you the intro section of the beat um, so the way I arrange this beat is intro chorus 
solo which is the verse then chorus again then i went back to solo then i went back to chorus solo and chorus that's how it ends so the structure of this bit is chorus in sorry intro chorus intro here chorus verse back to chorus again then i have solo which is a uh, verse 2 verse 2 ends here then you now have the chorus here although i didn't title this then back to solo so invariably what we have here in this section is um mainly two solo but i just extended the bit because of those that want to i just extended the bit here but majorly this particular arrangement goes with intro solo uh, chorus solo one back to chorus solo two solo two solo two ends here then back to let's say chorus two So we have solo one, solo two, but this particular bit has three solo. But mainly, it is um, two solo chorus, solo three, and lastly chorus. So this is my arrangement here. So you can also have it the same structure like this to arrange a bit, but mainly according to the music standard industry, you you usually have about two verses for an artist to sing. But for this particular bit, I just extended it for just a play on my own personal arrangement. So, but for yours, you can as well do two solo or however you want it to be. You are free to do that. So this is the structure of the beat. So let me preview it to you so that you listen to it from beginning to the end and you know how the different structure is. <laughs> So guys that is it this is how to make no so amade type beats so make sure you subscribe to this channel like and comment so if you have want to make any other further video that you you want me to do put it on the comment section so that i will i will get the question from the comment section and i will make continue to make videos for you so guys continue to press the subscribe button so that whenever i upload 
creating videos like this, you get an impression. Bye.